Step back into the 80 seconds and revisit the charming world of the Harper family with the classic TV series, Mama's Family. Delighting audiences with its humor and relatable family dynamics, the show centered around Thelma Harper, affectionately known as Mama, and her lively interactions with her quirky family members. While the series gained its popularity from its witty dialogue, and endearing characters, it also featured a standout performance by the iconic Hollywood actor, Ken Berry, who brought an additional layer of charm to the show. Berry's portrayal of Vinton Harper, Mama's son, added a special spark to the family's comedic escapades, making him a favorite among many viewers. If you've ever found yourself laughing along with the escapades of the Harpers, perhaps you have a personal story about how Mama's family has impacted your life. Whether it's a fond memory of watching the show with family or finding solace in its humor during a challenging time, this classic series often left a lasting impression on its audience. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Mama's family? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your moments of laughter, nostalgia, or unexpected connections with this beloved show. Mama's Family, a spin-off from The Carol Burnett Show, debuted in 1983 and showcased the comical misadventures of the Harper family, particularly the matriarch Thelma Mama Harper. Set in Raytown, the series revolved around the boisterous and sharp-tongued Mama, played by Vicki Lawrence, along with her quirky family, including her two adult children, Vinton and Ellen, and her grandchildren. The show's humor stemmed from Mama's no-nonsense attitude, sarcastic remarks, and her constant clashes with her family members, often leading to hilarious situations. The storytelling primarily unfolded within the confines of the Harper household, offering a blend of family dynamics, southern charm, and witty humor. Notably, Mama's cantankerous yet lovable persona, adorned with her signature house dress and quick-witted one-liners, became an iconic character. The show's unique style lay in its ability to balance heartwarming family moments with comedic chaos, making it a relatable and entertaining watch for audiences. Its impact on popular culture manifested through the enduring popularity of Mama, fostering catchphrases, and a distinct comedic legacy that persists even beyond its original airing. Despite initial mixed reviews, Mama's family developed a dedicated fanbase and ran for six seasons, concluding in 1990. The series left a lasting mark on television, solidifying Mama as a timeless and endearing figure in the pantheon of classic TV characters. Vinton, a character in the 1983 TV series Mama's Family, was employed as a locksmith at Quick Keys, while Naomi worked at a grocery store named Food Circus. Initially a checker, Naomi eventually climbed the ranks to become the assistant manager. This setting placed the show in the fictional town of Raytown, where all local businesses bore variations of the town's name, like McRae's instead of McDonald's, and the upscale restaurant Shea Ray. Raytown also boasted two newspapers, The Bugle and The Courier. Additionally, it's interesting to note that Lorna Luft was the first choice of producers to play the character Iola. These unique details about the characters' occupations and the town's quirky business names added depth and distinctiveness to the show's setting and its portrayal of everyday life in Raytown. The actual house used in the opening and closing credits for the show Mama's Family, which debuted in 1983, is located in South Pasadena, California. The exterior shots of the Harper family's residence were filmed at a real house in South Pasadena, providing the familiar backdrop seen in the show's credits. This iconic house became a visual cornerstone, instantly recognizable to viewers, as the home of the comical Harper family led by the unforgettable character of Thelma Mama Harper, portrayed by Vicki Lawrence. The choice of this particular house contributed to the show's authentic and relatable setting, establishing an immediate connection with the audience. The house's appearance in the credits became synonymous with the warm, family-centric humor and memorable moments that unfolded within the confines of the show. This real location added a layer of realism to the series, enhancing the overall viewing experience for audiences. Vicki Lawrence portrayed Mama in the 1983 TV series Mama's Family. Despite the character's age in her 60 seconds, Lawrence herself was 33 when she began the show. The majority of episodes feature characters consistently wearing specific colored attire, such as Mama in blue or purple, Vinton in tan, Naomi in yellow, Iola in pink, and Bubba in green. 
Vinton's first wife, Mitzi, is referenced in the initial episode when Vinton and his kids move in with Thelma. She left Vinton to work as a cocktail waitress in Las Vegas. These elements add layers to the characters and their stories in the show, providing consistent visuals and backstories that viewers may not immediately recognize. Vicky Lawrence's portrayal of Mama was notably younger than the character's age, demonstrating her acting prowess. The consistent use of specific colors for each character's attire adds a distinctive and recognizable visual element throughout the series, contributing to the show's unique charm and character development. The opening credits of the series in its first two seasons would only credit the main cast in episodes their characters appeared in. This allowed for Betty White and Carol Burnett to be credited as guest stars in the opening credits instead of the closing. When the series moved to syndication in 1986, this was eliminated and all the main cast was credited for each episode. The exception to this is Mama's Family Best Medicine, in which Betty White was credited in the opening credits as a special guest star. This unique approach to crediting the cast in the opening credits added an interesting dimension to the show's presentation. The strategic placement of guest stars like Betty White and Carol Burnett in the opening credits provided a distinct recognition for their appearances in specific episodes. The shift in the crediting format during syndication aimed at acknowledging the entire main cast equally in every episode, offering a more standardized and inclusive representation. Notably, the exception for Betty White in Mama's Family, Best Medicine signified a special distinction, deviating from the standard practice, and highlighting her as a special guest star in the opening credits. This alteration in the crediting system across the show's seasons reveals the strategic evolution in recognizing and attributing the cast's contributions, providing insights into the show's production strategies and changes in the television industry's approach to acknowledging guest appearances within a series. During the course of Mama's Family, Dorothy Lyman was also playing a full-time role on the daytime drama All My Children, so she traveled constantly between Los Angeles and New York City. This arrangement posed a unique challenge for Lyman, juggling simultaneous commitments to two distinct television shows. Her commitment to All My Children necessitated frequent travel between the coasts, a demanding schedule that showcased her dedication to her craft. This dual role scenario underscored the complexities actors sometimes face, balancing multiple projects concurrently, and highlighted the rigorous nature of the entertainment industry. As we conclude this journey through the endearing world of the 1983 TV series Mama's Family, I invite you to reflect on the unique bond you might share with this timeless classic. This show, filled with quirky characters and relatable family dynamics, might have resonated with you in various ways. Whether it's the hilarious antics of Thelma Mama Harper, the eccentricities of the Harper family, or the charming Southern wit, Mama's family has woven itself into the fabric of many hearts. Your personal connection with the show, be it the laughter it brought during tough times or the warm nostalgia it evokes, holds a significance that's worth sharing. Take a moment to reminisce about your favorite moments, characters, or episodes, and let those memories sparkle once more. By sharing your thoughts, you not only celebrate the essence of this remarkable series, but also contribute to the communal joy of others who hold Mama's family dear. Your memories, musings, and reflections are the threads that continue to weave the rich tapestry of this beloved show's legacy. Thank you for taking the time to ponder and relive the moments that made Mama's family special to you. Your unique perspective adds depth to the collective appreciation of this classic gem. Your engagement and fondness for the series truly make a difference. Thank you for sharing and reminiscing, and remember, your reflections add immeasurable value to the tapestry of shared experiences surrounding Mama's family. It's been a pleasure to explore this with you.